Today, I'm harvesting my pandan leaf for an upcoming video. Kanom Tako It's the Thai dessert consisting of a smooth creamy coconut layer and a chewy yam layer. After harvesting the pandan leaf, I will show how to fold the little taco box. The pandan leaf outside my gardens are super big and beautiful. I have harvested the major leaf as they are large and make for a sturdier box. They are closer to the roots than the shoot of the plant. Try to harvest the leaves that are closer in size to one another. This will make the boxes consistent in high-end sizes. I took more than a handful as I am planning to make a lot of kanom taco. It will be a perfect chill treat on a super hot day. I am roughly spraying them with water to remove insect or dirt and turning them over to the other side. And repeat. Then, I am putting on gloves to protect my hands against cuts from the edges of the leaf. Take a bunch, wash and rub them properly one by one under running water. Once done, leave them in the other basket. Continue with the rest of pandan leaves. Alright, the washing is done. Now, I am back in my kitchen, ready to make the boxes. I have with me a pair of kitchen shears, a stapler, and a large baking tray. I have two slightly different sizes of pandan leaves. The smaller one will result in a smaller box, while the bigger one will make a bigger box. Let's start with the big leaf. As the top part is softer, it does not tear easily compared to the bottom, which is firmer. Remove the tip from this point to get a sharp 90 degree angle. To measure the length of the box, for the top of the leaf, Use the cut pad to measure roughly the width of the box. Make a hard crease on the right side of the leaf. Then fold and crease the leaf inward three more times, using the crease and middle of the leaf as the guide. Then cut the remaining leaf where the next crease should be, like this. Then cut it about quarter centimeter shorter at the end. Press the end of the creases with thumb and index fingers. Now unravel the leaf. We can see where the earlier creases are. There should be 4 creases in total. Next, we want to cut the creases only up to the middle part of the leaf. Like this. Now the first 3 creases are cut. For the last crease, cut it like the first 3. Then make an inner cut parallel to the crease about a few millimeters away. I will make it bigger for you to see. Alright, remove the loose strand. Now we have 5 flaps with 3 cuts and 1 thick cut. Hold the leaf with the first crease away from you. This will be the bottom. Bring the first flap above the second flap to form a corner. Hold this corner in place. Then bring the second flap above the third flap to form the second corner. Now we have 2 corners. Hold both corners in place with the thumb. Notice that the first and the third flaps are joined with no overlap. With the fourth flap, we will complete the box. Bring the fourth flap below the third flap but above the first one. Now we have a box with this wave pattern inside and no gap in the center. Perfect! Let's do it again. First flap over the second, second over the third, third over the fourth, and tuck the fourth over the first. See? Very easy. Almost like magic. Now we have the extra flap. This flap will complete the four corner of the box. Fold the extra flap below the rest, so it will look like this. See the little pocket here? Push the extra flap inside the little pocket. Now our box is complete. Secure it with my glut if you have them. They are made from hard stem or palm or coconut leaves. Skewer stick and toothpicks are not recommended for this small basket as they are too thick and would tear the pandan leaves instead. I am using a stapler with the full side inside to secure it as my glut is not available. This step can be omitted if preferred. However, the basket may become undone when lifted. That's it. We have a beautiful pandan leaf basket ready for kanom taco. Set it aside for the extras. Set it aside as well. This can be used to make other desserts. Repeat for the rest of the pandan leaves. Remove the tip. Measure the width. Fold and crease the pandan leaf.
cut the remaining leaves unravel and cut to the middle of the crease with the bigger gap for the last one for the basket from the first flap second third and fourth tuck in the extra flap and secure with a stapler set aside i will continue folding all the basket until completed All right, it is done. I have arranged them on a tray like this and sprinkled some water on them to keep them fresh. Especially if storing them beyond a day, this pandan basket can be prepared in advance as they take some time to make. Make sure to seal them tightly in a cling wrap and store in the fridge until ready to use. They can last like this in the fridge for two to three days. It's recommended to store them in the fridge if not using them immediately. Sprinkle some water on them to prevent the pandan from boiling. However, make sure they are head dry before filling the kanom taco. All right, for the balance of the pandan leaves, store them in a clean plastic bag for your next kue or desserts. I will freeze mine as they can last for six to eight months when frozen. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.